shoes. He was so excited. Uh, he, had, he had saved up his money. He had he'd gotten gift money. And, and, and uh, not with our advice, but his own will, he decided to buy $120 shoes. And we basically said, you know what? We want him to learn that with his money, he can, for the most part, within moral perimeters, buy what he wants. We we're trying to advise him, you know, do this, do that. And, and, and he's just like, no, I want these particular Kobe Bryant shoes, amen? <laughs> and so we went and bought the shoes, and he was so happy. I can support him today at church. Uh, you all know which one it is. It's the one with the gold and the diamonds. Uh, and it's expensive. Uh, he has bodyguards around him, you know, making sure no one steals them. But the bottom line is this. Um, I, when he bought the shoes, he was so happy. You know what he told me? Because I remember saying this when I, was, when I was young. He said, man, I'm going to buy these shoes over and over again. Forever. I'm going to always have these shoes. <laughs> have you ever done that? You bought some shoes that you like so much, you're like, man, I'm always going to keep buying these particular brands. Six months later, it's like, ugh. You know, like, 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 Nancy Hammer says, man, you can't touch this, you know, it's like, man, I ain't touching this, I'm, and it's like the new model comes out, or the, or, or, or another company comes out with another shoe, and you look back, you're like, man, I can't believe I bought that shoe, and you know how trends are, you look back, you're like, man, that was such a dorky shoe, that was a really lucky shoe, I can't believe I bought, but you know, I told him, I said, look, son, check this out, I know you like this shoe, and you're excited, you feel like right now you're a god on earth, you know, got your Kobe Bryant's on. He's like, I mean, literally, I mean, went to the restaurant. He stepped on some gum, like a little piece of gum in the restaurant. He scraped it off from the soul. I'm like, come on, man. The shoe ain't that serious. I mean, you're saying if you got the, the gum on the side or on top, but under the soul, I mean, he's up there scrubbing it away. I'm like, come on. I said to him, look, I know you love these shoes, but let me tell you something, son. I don't care how many shoes you have, how expensive the shoes are. There's nothing that can fill this inside of here except the Holy Spirit. You can have all the things that you ever wanted, but without the Holy Spirit, you are empty. You can buy me. I mean, folks, I don't realize how much music is out there, how much media is out there, YouTube and images.